Welcome back to the story about a man with a dream. This man had a passion and love for EDC gear and knives in particular. The problem is this man has a life and family and that takes precedent over the wonderful pocket jewelry that fuels his passion. Driven by creativity he thought to himself, what if he could make these wonderful items himself? This is the story of his adventure, the heartaches and struggles, the pains and labors along the way. This is the adventure of Bum Knives. In our last episode, we figured out our backspacer. We got it cut out, shaped. We also sanded it and did a little finish work on it. On this episode, we're going to clean up the handle scales a little bit more. They need to be rounded off a little bit more so they'll be more comfortable and little cleanup work on the edges. And we might even put a hole in the backspacer for a lanyard. The Bum Knives channel is also intended to be an adventure into YouTube and filmmaking. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Uh, let me know down below in the comments where you're at. If you're watching this before work, uh, before school, after school, after work. Just um, say hi. Let me know how you're doing. I'd also love to know the cool things that you guys are into. Feel free to let me know down below if you have any cool projects that you've started or anything that uh, you find interesting that you're into. Leave it down below. Um, I'll be happy to check it out if you do have a channel or anything of the sort. Anyone else remember having to bowl water? What is that? Boomer! You know they make instant oatmeal with that already. Huh? Never mind. The Breakfast of Champions. Okay, we're back in the shop. We're going to take our handle scales over to the grinder to try to round off the edges, make everything more smooth and comfortable. Okay, it's about right here that I realized that I probably should have switched to a much uh, less coarse belt. I think I've got like a 40 or a 60 grit on there that I was using to um, do my blade bevels. The belt's catching a little bit too. It ends up throwing off one of my V stripes. I am just a bum after all. Luckily, I have my grinder inside of a plastic box. I think I've mentioned it before on the channel. 
but the advantage of this is it keeps most of the dust inside and in a situation like this where you might have a part thrown it's easier a little bit easier to find anyway I have the top of my grinder modified I have it basically the hood that goes over it cut off um, so that way I can get inside bevels and curves and the top of the box, the grinder box is glass, so that way I can see down into the grinder what I'm doing as I'm working. If you guys are watching this, you're probably fans of Alex still, so it's kind of similar to what he does. He has a whole grinder room set up, and he'll suit up uh, and then go into the room. So any grinding he does is all contained in that room, and then he cleans it up afterwards. This is similar, but since I have a very small 1x30 grinder, it's all contained in the box. Okay, after I found the piece that I lost, um, I noticed it's very nasty and dirty inside the box. So I figured it might be a good time to just clean it out. So in case I lose anything else, it might make it easier to see what I've lost. If anyone's here from my Instagram page, you might be familiar with my dust collector there that you see that I have set up and i have the actual shop vac inside of there i built a box under my uh, work bench um, to store my shop vac because it's very noisy i don't know why this shot is just so satisfying okay here i'm gonna just give you guys a pan out shot so you can kind of see my grinder my work bench and my drill press all set up there together my overhead light broke, so I'm just using a, a broken lamp for lighting there. Okay, so now we're going to move on to heat treating two of the blades. One of the most important things for heat treating is laying everything out that you're going to need for the process. I have my two brick forge that I made myself and my map gas torch. I also have both blades um, clamped up and some vice grips and a magnet to test the blades. Once they reach critical temperature, they'll lose their magnetization and be ready to quench. In preparing for this, I have an oven mitt, so when I do do the quench, if I get any flare-ups, I'll be okay with that. Um, it is on my basement floor, which is concrete. So the thought process here is if anything goes wrong and you drop anything, then um, you'll be fine because it will just be on the concrete, which isn't flammable. Now, if you watch the knife I made um, in the first video for YouTube, I actually heat treated on my kitchen stove that you see here um, and counter. Thought process there was if anything goes wrong and falls, it's on a stove or a counter, um, which is not flammable. I would actually um, probably prefer something like that. Throwing it in the oven to temper now for two Working hours. off the floor kind of gave me an uneasy feeling that I would trip on something or fall on top of something at, while I was working on it. Back over to the drill press to drill a hole for the um, backspacer, just in case we want to add a lanyard. This drill bit certainly earned its keep. I keep resharpening it and drilling more holes. I've mentioned this before, but I'm not going to drill all the way through just because I don't have it clamped down. So I'm just going most of the way through. Once you see a dent on the other side, you can stop. Um, I usually just take it over to the grinder and sand the dent off. And then the hole's pretty much completed. And then I'll, even though I didn't film it, I will just um, finish the hole with my hand drill. That way I don't got to worry about a helicopter or anything like that. I also used a larger sized bit to just countersink a little bit. I thought it would be really cool to just um, blue this um, so it's black since it'll be the stinger coming out of the back of the knife. Don't be like me. Make sure you wear gloves when you use this stuff. Um, some safety glasses would, would probably also be good as well just in case you splash anything. This stuff is an acid, and it will irritate your skin. If you guys like this content, please consider subscribing. And if you know anyone that might enjoy this, uh, share it with them.
All right, it's been fun. This video is getting pretty long, so it's about time to wrap it up. Um, our knife should be ready to come out of the oven from the tempering process and to take it over to the sink here soon. Okay, we'll be starting our next video with cleaning these guys up, I guess, and putting the handle together. Uh. Yeah.